Bon après-midi tout le monde. Good afternoon everyone. Thanks so much for being here. It's always a pleasure to be back in Washington DC working alongside our American partners on ways to better support the middle class. And it's great to be joined by our Canadian delegation including Minister Freeland and Parliamentary Secretary Leslie who are as usual hard at work. I've had a very productive time here beginning with Fortune's most powerful women summit. There, I had an excellent conversation with Patty Sellers about the economic empowerment of women. Before and during that event, I met with some incredibly influential women business leaders to discuss some of our most pressing challenges and had an opportunity to talk with amazing, inspiring young high school students who were focused on how they uh, can be leaders of tomorrow and leaders today. We know that the success of any society depends on the full socioeconomic participation of women because women succeed, we all succeed. And whether it's flexible hours, parental leave, affordable childcare, diversity training, equal pay, or any other number of initiatives, it's incumbent on all of us across the public and private spheres to be proud agents for change. Following that theme, this morning I had a productive roundtable with Women One, where we discussed the current barriers to global gender equality and marked the International Day of the Girl. I also met with the Committee on Ways and Means and we had a great conversation about the importance of the Canada-US partnership. And I just wrapped up a very good meeting with President Trump where we talked about trade, security and economic growth. As we know, the fourth round of NAFTA negotiations is underway here in Washington and the President and I reiterated our commitment to working together in good faith to give this deal a much needed upgrade. NAFTA has benefited millions of people and can benefit millions more. We're pleased to have the opportunity to modernize this trade agreement for the current economy, a modernization that acknowledges the importance of gender, the environment and indigenous and labor rights. We know that there are millions of jobs on both sides of the Canada-US border that rely on trade and investment. In fact, Canada is among the top export markets for the majority of U.S. states. And so, it's imperative that we get a fair deal for Canadians, Americans and Mexicans alike. That's what our teams at all orders of government are working hard towards. De façon générale, notre, Washing notre voyage à Washington s'est avéré très productif. Lors de chacune de mes rencontres, la question que j'avais en tête était toujours la même, c'est-à-dire Comment pouvons-nous travailler ensemble, Américains et Canadiens, pour mieux servir la classe moyenne et ceux qui travaillent fort pour en faire partie? Parce qu'en bout de ligne, nous voulons faire ce qu'il y a de mieux pour nos citoyens. Et nous savons que nous obtiendrons de meilleurs résultats en travaillant ensemble. C'est ce qui nous définit en tant que Canadiens et Américains. C'est ce qui fait de nous des amis proches et des alliés résolus. Indeed, I've said it before and I'll say it again. There is no relationship in the entire world quite like that between Canada and the United States. We can and we will continue to achieve great things together. 